here again, doing uh, boat jobs again. Um, I've got a couple of jobs to do today. One of them is uh, the, uh, the water pump on the engine. Uh, I need to change the impeller, so I'm going to do that. First we're going to take the two hoses off, off the side of, of the water pump, which are just hose clamps. The only thing that's in there is going to be uh, seawater. Disconnect the, the belt, put these in the back in the hole so you don't lose them, and then the water pump should be should be free. There we go. Water pump off. All right, so this is our water pump. It's, it's actually freezing cold uh, because it's still only in the 30s here. However, I'm going to do this job now, so I'm going to take these. These screws off. It's a very simple job. Okay, get these screws off. They don't take a lot to break them. Still a bit tight. These should come off really straightforward, really easily. Uh, and then get the panel off, which should just come off. Um, might take a little tap to get it off, maybe not. So get it off with a little screwdriver. Obviously we don't want to damage it. Uh, see if there's a little spot where I can pry it off. Oops, there. gasket and we're gonna have to I'm gonna put a new gasket on I'm gonna try and get this off in one see if it'll come off 
I don't want to scrape, I don't want to scratch this, but I can pry this out without breaking it. It'll probably come off in one. Like I said, it was only uh, a year and a half ago that I replaced this, and I replaced this gasket as well. At that point, I had to really um, clean this and uh, take it off. But in this case, it's pretty much perfect. So you can see, that's what it looks like. There's the old gasket, like so. So this is the new gasket, and as you can see, it's brand new, still sealed, Yamaha original parts, and uh, I bought two of those when I bought them, and I'm actually out now, so I'm gonna, um, I'm, I'm basically gonna um, buy all new now. And that's what the new gasket looks like. Um, here's the impeller. Here's the old impeller. Um, so what I'm going to do is, there is a tool to do this, but I think you can just pull this out. Just take your time with it. Just do it a few times on different arms. And you can see it's coming. You see it's stuck out. Uh, we're dropping a bit of antifreeze, which is the marine anti uh, the RV antifreeze, and then we're out. While we're in here and we're looking at any signs that, that there's anything dripping out of here, and I don't see any signs that there's anything dripping out of here, because if it's dripping out of here, it means that the back seal is gone. There's a little bit of dirt in there. You can see it right there. Just pulled that out. It is dirt rather than anything else though. Um, apart from that, it's pretty clean in there. So then, new impeller. Yeah. So what a lot of people do is they put a little bit of lubricant in this area here, which is what I'm going to do. I'm just going to put a little bit of lubricant in that area there, which is where the where the um, the parts will get compressed in the first place. And the reason for that is because um, when we first start the start it up it's going to be very uh, dry in here and therefore this will get lubricated. So people say it's not important which way around, which, if you bend these splines one way or the other I, I would rather make sure that I put it in the put them bent in the right direction they're going to be traveling in at least for the first start up and it's a little tricky but just work it a little bit and what you'll do is you'll see that actually that one that one looks like it's bending a little bit the other way but it'll be fine you're gonna spin it that way and then once you've got it on and, and the spline is aligned just push it home right so what you'll see is that as it goes around it does it does that and it can it pulls the water in and pushes it that way so that's that's in now And what we're going to do is we're going to put the new gasket on, um, on here, like so, um, and it's going to match. It's going to match up with the, the holes, so you can see it's matching like that. And then the plate goes on top. Just 
you can see the witness mark where the old one has been on the plate. Um, I got a bit of water on there, so I'm just going to wipe wipe it off, uh, and then it's going to go down on here like so. I'm going to throw a couple of these screws in, to make sure everything's aligned. Just hand hand tight. Not hand, not hand tight. Just just in. Not hand tight. And I'm missing one. You always keep your stuff in the in the right place so you don't miss one. I'm sure it's underneath. It's around here somewhere. It's gotta be. Oh, that's it. Oh, Bella. There it is. I'm just gonna do them in in every third one, basically. Now there's no I don't think there's a particular way to do this, and I don't think they have to be overly tight either. Um, they are sealing, though, so burn through the gasket, with the gasket. Um, Okay, and then it's all back together. It's, it's a pretty simple job. Let's put this line back on, which was a pain to get off before. So I'm just gonna do it now while I can. And that's pretty straightforward. I can do the screw up later. Um, then take this out and take this out and put those in loosely like that. Um, I'm gonna throw this around while I can. Make sure that the um, this is on the uh, the pulley on this that's on the drive shaft. This is the crank here. Make sure the pulley, uh, the, uh, the the belt is on the pulley here behind um, before you do this. So that's that. And then I'm going to put this one on here as well. So that's back on. Uh, and then I'm going to pull this into place and tighten it up. Now, I don't want it to slip. So I'm going to give it a little bit of leverage by doing that. Not too tight because you'll, you'll burn through belts, but tighten up. I was checking uh, as well in the season. All right, so that's held in position. It's, it's pretty tight, but not too tight. You can still move it. Uh, there you go. Uh, then lock this in place here. Visually take a look at them, make sure they're on the run in the right places. And that's that. That's that complete.